In this video, I'd like to use the patient data that we saw in our mean, median, and mode video to calculate the measures of dispersion or measure, measures of variation for this data set. That includes the range and the variance and standard deviation. All of these, the range, variance, and standard deviations, provide us, each one of these measures provide, provides us with an idea of how spread out the data is. So are the data values really close together or are they really far apart in the middle? And exactly what is this telling us? And we're going to get into that in future videos. So remember this data, we have patient number. This is the patient number. And on the right-hand side, this is the length of stay in days for that patient. From our previous video, we found the sample mean, the mean of all these values of this sample was 4.6. What we want to first do is find the range. And the reason we're starting with the range is that's going to be the easiest. The range is a value that allows us to see the difference between the minimum and the maximum value. So if I take the maximum value and I subtract the minimum value, I'm finding the difference between the two. So my maximum value is 8 and my minimum value is 1. That means my range when I subtract these is 7. So I'm going to write that up here the range is equal to 7 and again the range is, is just a, a metric that tells us the difference between the two so from the largest to the smallest how far are we talking and in this case we're talking 7 the other two types of measures that we want to calculate are the variance and standard deviation now just like with the mean we could be talking about the variance and standard deviation of a population of something we know for the entire population or the variance and standard deviation for samples so I want to real quick just mention the difference between them because they're going to be symbolized differently so for the population so for the population we're going to use for variance we will see the symbol sigma squared and for the standard deviation we will see sigma. So the population variance is given by sigma squared. That's the symbol. Just like x bar is the sample mean. Remember mu, if I draw mu, mu was the population mean. For the sample standard deviation and sample variance, the sample variance is going to be given by s squared and the sample standard deviation is going to be s. We want to focus on calculating the variance and, and standard deviation for a sample. So we're not going to worry about this. Remember, S squared is for the sample variance. And if we were to take the square root of the variance, we would get this. We would get the sample standard deviation. And these are typically what we're going to be calculating. We're going to be working with samples. So the variance and the standard deviation. Notice if you take the variance, so this is just a quick thing here, take the variance and you take the square root of the variance, you're going to get the standard deviation. So that is the relationship between these two variables. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to calculate these, you could calculate them by hand and it's not too complicated, it's a few steps, it takes a few minutes. But instead of worrying about these by hand, we're going to always use StatCrunch to, to calculate the standard deviation and variance. The reason why is technology can do that very quickly. And it's we could go through, and actually I'm going to post a link to a video of how to do it by hand, which you should definitely watch so you can see how it's done. But from here on out, we're going to focus on just doing the these two calculations here using StatCrunch. You should be able to calculate the range. That should be no problem by doing, doing that by hand. So now let's put this data, let's go back to this data that's already in StatCrunch. So now we are looking at the data that is contained in StatCrunch. It's the same data, patient number and length of stay. And what we want to do is to calculate the variance and the standard deviation. So I'm going to click on Stat, Summary Stats, and I'm going to calculate this for a column. And that column in particular is the length of stay. We've already seen these steps when we calculated the mean, the median, and the mode. But now we're going to click on the variance and the standard deviation. 
And if you do go down here, we might as well click on range because we have already calculated that. So now I am calculating the variance and the standard deviation and the range. Remember to hold down command when you select those. Now let's hit compute. Bring that back into the picture. Our summary statistics, our length of stay, that's the column we are working with, our variance is 5.6 and this unit is going to be days squared just like the S squared. This is days squared and the standard deviation is going to be 2.3 and we maybe round that to probably 2.4 or 2.37. This is going to be in days, so 2.4 days. Our range, as we've already calculated, is 7. So using StatCrunch, we can very quickly calculate the standard deviation and variance. Now, in these next few videos that we'll see, we're going to see how the standard deviation, along with the mean, when we put these two metrics together, how that can help us answer questions about a data set.